Howdy, welcome to Family Friendly Foods. Today is gonna be fun. We're gonna do some winter squashes, mainly a spaghetti squash. Okay, compound butter. Compound butter is nothing but butter with stuff in it. Now, what I'm putting in this is one stick of butter, fourth of a pound. I am going to put about a good teaspoon of minced garlic in it. Then I want some onion. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the onion, because I want it to be real small, and I'm going to cut it so I get real small pieces and I'll show you what I mean by that. See it just like that. And then again I want about a teaspoon and I'm just using the white part and a little bit of the green. Voila. Now, let's see, what else can I put in it? How about some pesto? And this is the tube stuff that I got a hole in, so it's all over the place. Open it up, whoa. And squeeze it in. If you don't want to make it, why isn't this coming out? because the hole isn't big enough. <laughs> Look at that. Now, I'm gonna put some, oh, wow. I really did put some pesto in it. What did I do with the lid? Oh, now, I keep this in the refrigerator at home. And again, you can buy this at Value Market. Well, I'm making a mess here. I just wanna get it so see it's coming out somewhere all right now my next job is i need to mix this up now i want you to know i've had this butter sitting out since 10 o'clock this morning i don't know what time it is now but it's after 11 i know and i just it's hard as a rock still so i'm going to use my hands i've already cut myself a piece of parchment paper and if you don't know what that is, you can get it at the grocery. And it's not wax paper. Actually, it's better than that. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to squish it up. And this is salted butter. And the reason I'm using salted butter is because I don't have to worry about putting salt in this and putting too much in it because you do want some salt. Now, you can make this butter ahead of time, which I should have, but I wanted to show y'all how to make it. And it smells good, it smells like pesto. This is good on anything, just a piece of bread. But we're gonna use it today just to flavor something simple with the spaghetti squash. Now, I think I got it mixed pretty darn well. So I'm gonna come over here and I got all my butter, and I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna squish it out, make it nice. Okay, there we go. Now, what you're gonna do after you do this, I wanna lick my fingers. I'm trying really hard not to. All right, you just wanna roll it up real tight and then after you get it rolled up you got it you twist the ends and you can put it in the refrigerator or I recommend putting it in the freezer now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash my hands because now I have to 
and we're going to make some spaghetti squash, yay! My hands are now impeccably clean, as Sarah Moulton would say. I got my scatty squash right here. Now, I knocked the end of it off that's hooked to the vine. What I'm going to do, because they're so hard to cook, I mean to cut, I'm going to do it for one minute in the microwave. So here I go. While that is in the microwave, I'm ready here to put it in a pan, salt and pepper on some parchment paper to bake it. Now, I'm going to get my oil, salt and pepper, and my spaghetti squash. Okay, now you can use Pam if you want to. I don't, this stuff gets expensive, so I save it for special things, like when I'm making bruschetta, so I don't have to put oil on every one of them. I just spray them before I put them in the oven. Easy peasy, that's the way life should be. Oh, I hear it. All right, here's my spaghetti squash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. And you start out, you want to stick your knife in it. Come on, baby. Ah. And we're going to go the other way. Yay. It may not look like it's very easy, but you wouldn't believe how hard it is if you don't put it in the microwave. Yeah, there we go. And I can guarantee you, you'll never cut it in half perfectly. Okay. It's right here. Come on, darn it. Now, this is the way you would do acorn squash, uh, butternut squash. Do it the same way. You want to cut it open. And then we're going to get the seeds out like we did the pumpkin. Voila! Now, the way you get the seeds out is with a big, tough spoon. I'll be right back because I put it in my knife bag by mistake. Okay, now all these squashes have seeds in the middle. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get them out I mean, this is like the hardest part of it, cutting it in half and getting the seeds out. I mean, you know, this is not a hard thing to do, complicated or anything. When you have arthritis, what you do is you get somebody else in the family to do this, okay? Just remember that. You can get somebody else to do it and you're going to be real nice to them. Okay. Stop it. Aha! Chef one over squash. See these seeds? They look like the pumpkin seeds did. So, if you want to have an experiment, try it. All right, come on out. Out, damn spot, out, out. Good old Macbeth. I may need some help here. If you can get the rest of the seeds Scoop out of there. Scoop it right out? Yeah. See how hard it is? Oh, yeah. Can you get me one of these spoons for my next jack-o'-lantern, though? I'm almost as good as Kirby Adams. Almost. Watch out, Kirby. I'm coming for your spot. Watch it. You're too tall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll get on my knees. How about that? 
Like no, then like, you'd be too short. But then I'd be like one of your one of your one of your kids' students. Well, that's true. All right, that's good. I can get the rest. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's so nice to have strong helpers. You don't realize that this is hard to scrape out till you do it. Okay. Now, here I have these. Now, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of oil. And like I said, if you want to use Pam, go ahead. Or if you got this in one of those, you know, those squeeze things that they put ketchup and mustard and that in. I keep some oil in one of those. You can get them like a dime and get any size you want. You cut the hole in the top of the squeeze thing to make it just the way you want it. And it's a great way to take care of oil so you don't spill it everywhere. Not that I know anybody that would do that. Okay, now we want salt. You always want to season everything. This is what you do to the pumpkin. And black pepper. Okay. You're going to take it. And you're going to turn it upside down, whoops, with your slimy hands on the parchment paper. Now, you're going to set your timer for a half an hour. You're going to put it in a 350 degree oven. When you feel it and it starts feeling soft, you're ready to rock and roll. Pull it out. It may take a half an hour. It may take an hour. Depends on the squash, how big it is, and everything. But this is the way you cook them, okay? Whether it's acorn, butternut, pumpkin, spaghetti, that's the way you cook them. Now, I have got... I need to thank my nephew-in-law for this knife. He gave it to me one year for Christmas. Wasn't that sweet? He owns a restaurant in Danville called Harvey's. Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to do is I, for real, have a spaghetti squash here I've already cooked. Now, what you need to know, I'm coming back over here, Now, it's cold, okay? And sometimes you can cook this stuff the night before, and you don't have to fool with a really hot piece of whatever. Now, my nephew gave me a set of these gloves. They're called Kitchen Perfection. I have no idea where he got them, somewhere on that infamous or famous internet. But anyway, you can pick up a turkey that just came out of a 400 degree oven with this stuff. You won't drop it and you won't feel it. These things are amazing. They're nice to have and you just can wash them in the dishwasher. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to make spaghetti out of the squash and I'm gonna put it in a bowl first. But I forgot the bowl. Let me go get it. Okie dokie. Is y'all ready for the spaghetti squash magic? Here it is. Watch with a fork. Look. It just comes out. Oh, look at this fork, people. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's so crooked. Okay. It, we're in the library, so this is crooked. It probably stole a book or something, and it's hiding in the drawer. Okay, here we go. Almost got this one side out. This is so much fun. You just pull it out. And like I said, you can bake, whoops, you can bake it the night before. I'm trying to do this so you all can see it, but I've got little hands. 
Okay, here we go. See, it's coming out. All righty now. I think I got some. No, oh, I didn't. It just came out. Okay, here we go. A little bit more. Now, this, you're going to eat it, and you're going to go, it doesn't taste like spaghetti. No, it really doesn't have any flavor. So what it's going to taste like is this butter I toss it in. Now, when I do this, like at farmer's markets, I do it two ways. Actually, three ways. One way with the butter. One way... Mm, one way with butter, one way with marinara, a canned, you know, grocery store thing. And one, I do a salad dressing, because you can eat it cold, too. So I've got this ready to rock and roll. I'm going to wash my hands again, because they're a rack. And we're going to have some, but listen to me, piscetti. Oh, my God. I work too much with children some spaghetti squash. Uno momento. Okay, spaghetti squash time. Now, I've got some of my compound butter and I'm putting it in the pan. This is cold. So you can eat it cold, as a matter of fact, if you want to. But uh, the deal is, I don't want to right now, but you can, you can put salad dressing on it, like any kind. I mean, you can even put ranch on it if you wanted to. And you could have it like a salad with some other vegetables cut up in it. Or you could heat it up like we're doing with our crooked fork and have it for um, a side dish. This particular uh, pair of tongs, I've got these little ones. I get them at Dine, and they're just, I use them like I would use my hand. They're little, they're easy to control. Some people have a hard time with stuff like this because they're not eye-hand coordinated. Boy, I know somebody like that, and I'm not going to say their name or anything, but I have got to tell you. One day, drinking some beer, going to a place my friends owns, and I was shooting pool with them. I don't know what they were doing. I was shooting pool. It was hysterical. And of course, you don't want to laugh at people. You're not supposed to. That's just not Christian. Well, maybe it's not, but it was pretty darn funny. All right, now I'm stirring this up. Can you see the steam coming off of it? Yeah. Now this doesn't hold its heat forever. Now I could have, before I put it in here, I could have microwaved it. But I didn't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more of this yummy butter. Yeah, buddy. I cannot believe that this butter never got soft. I think because it's a wee bit nippy in here. The lights, on the other hand, are making me perspire because women don't sweat. <laughs> Listen, talk about sweating when you're in a kitchen. Like, this isn't that bad, but you're standing over a grill and that flame, and I looked down one day at the thermometer in my pocket, 140 degrees. No, I wasn't hot. Okay, this should be yummy. Now, this is a great side dish, ladies and gentlemen. It's also fun. You can 
do it with anything. If you've got some leftover chicken, throw it in here. But we're going to have a nice plate of squash. Okay, time to taste it. Okie dokie. I got a fork that's working. I'm going to take it. Now it's going to be so hot, i got to wait a minute. Mm. A butter tastes so good in this, but it's chewy. It's a little crunchy, and that's the way it's supposed to be. It's not like regular spaghetti where you can smash it on the top of your, with your tongue in the top of your mouth. This is just yummy, and it's a great side dish, like I said. Mm -mm -mm. And that's the end of our squash show, ladies and gentlemen.